Have your beehives and your dancing shoes. It's time to sing along to the music of Hairspray. Nikki Mayo shows us how John Waters is teaming up with the monkeys to mark the silver anniversary around town. Hairspray turns 25 this year, and to celebrate, John Waters is bringing the iconic story to the Meyerhoff for a special engagement tonight through Sunday of Hairspray in concert with the Baltimore Symphony Orchestra. I'm not singing with the orchestra bar. I mean, I love hearing the orchestra. It's great. Fine, he won't sing, but director John Waters steps into the wings as a narrator with the Baltimore School for the Arts and the BSO to showcase selections from Hairspray. Okay, I'll do it! <laughs> We do all the music, all the songs, and big dance numbers with 30 people dancing at one time. Also joining the cast are students from the Baltimore School for the Arts. They're getting real life experience and direction from some of Broadway's best. It's great that the School of Arts is doing it, and if I had been a kid, that's, I hope probably I would have gone there because every school I went to discouraged it. But to be honest, when we made Hairspray, none of the schools would let, let us use their children. John says the orchestra's music and the students' singing gives new life to the turbulent times during the civil rights movement. It wasn't just the Buddy Dean show that was having problems with integration. It was the swim clubs, the amusement parks. There were riots here, as everybody knows, you know. Although everybody doesn't know that. Much like Tracy Turnblad, the songs sing to all people that have felt the pain of being considered a social outcast. I think a fat girl stood for every person that's ever been discriminated against for anything in the whole world. The Hairspray Mastermind's latest project is uniquely John Waters. The next for me is my book that I'm writing right now about hitchhiking across America, which is called Car Sick. And I hitchhiked 21 rides, nine days. And to find out what happened, you'll have to read the book. For The List, I'm Nikki Mayo.